Hey guys, Terry Red here, and in this video, we're going back to our Virtual Pinball Software Essentials series, and we are doing what we're calling Pup Packs on Top. What the heck does that mean? We're talking about being able to use Pinup Player and Pup Packs with your favorite Visual Pinball, Future Pinball, and Pinball FX3 tables on a single screen desktop view setup. That's right. It's not now. It's not no longer exclusive for the cabinet guys who have crazy setups with multiple screens. You normal guys with a single screen setup can play all the pinup player specific tables and also pup packs as well. So in this video, I am just going to be doing a, a a quick demo of how it actually works. Of uh, you know, with a front end, in this case, of course, pinup popper, it works fantastic with a fr with pinup popper, but you don't need a front end for this to work. You can just run it from the editor on desktop like normal if you want as well. So I'm just going to go through a, a few tables uh, from each system just as a quick demo. And then uh, in separate videos, I'm going to have uh, the actual setup of what you need to do uh, to set up pinup player for this. And then, ha and then I'm gonna have separate videos on top of that for uh, Visual Pinball, Future Pinball, and FX3 so that uh, you know uh, you know how to set those ones up specifically because they all have their unique things that they need uh, done. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump right in. So I'm just gonna first uh, just browse through uh, some examples in pinup popper, then I'll launch a few examples, and then I'll uh, show uh, a few examples just uh, without a front end. So first, We'll uh, go to uh, Visual Pinball. All right, so here's a uh, my, my uh, Transformers pup pack. Uh, here you can see on the top right, uh, the back glass is uh, showing actually seven different layers, uh, six video layers and an overlay. And on the left side, you see the uh, uh, copper or under videos, as we like to call them, and uh, the uh, DMD X DMD on the top left which is uh, a much better looking DMD, but it's also uh, part of what's used for a uh, uh, pinup player. And here you can see Trojan Shell's uh, Spider-Man Vault Edition Pup Pack. Uh, you can see we have the beautiful color DMD displaying on the top left. Uh, and then he's got his uh, Pup Pack running on the right with uh, the topper videos on the left. And it runs beautiful, looks great. And it also, uh, just like uh, with my Transformers Pup Pack and my Tron Pup Pack, and this pup pack and some of his others, uh, you have the option to use uh, original soundtrack music. That means like the actual music from the movies or whatever uh, sources may have been used for the pup pack instead of the, the original ROM sound, which is older mono sound that doesn't sound very good. Whereas uh, with the pup pack, you have the option of uh, really much, much better music. And of course, one of my favorites, my my uh, the first pup pack ever made, uh, Tron Legacy LE Stern. Uh, uh, this is the visual pinball version, obviously, and uh, I've updated it over the years. And yeah, it works uh, great with all, whatever version of uh, Tron Legacy you want in visual, uh, visual pinball. And here's a unique one. This is uh, the Wizard of Oz table. Uh, this is a table a lot of people didn't think you could get to work nicely on a desktop view. And the reason why is it has almost everything on it. It has Ultra DMD on the top left. It has it uses pinup player for like uh, normal full screen back glass videos and also uh, the small uh, corner quadrants as well. Uh, it has a topper video, but it also uses a direct B2S back glass uh, for the table as well. So, and getting all that to work on a desktop setup uh, is a little tricky, but with what I'm uh, going to be showing you how to set up in these uh, series of videos, it actually can work automatically and it works fantastic. And I'll, and I'll show you in this video how it works. And Stranger Things, Stranger Edition. This is Scotty Wick's fantastic original visual pinball table. The very first table that made use of uh, pinup player commands directly from script. Uh, you can only do that with visual pinball. And uh, it uses uh, pinup player for displaying the scores, the videos, playing the music. Uh, but it also had an optional uh, Ultra DMD uh, as well on there. So fantastic table. Uh, great example for... Uh, Pinup player and uh, visual pinball, and of course, this is Scotty Wick's newest table, the Leprechaun King. Same thing, uses pinup player. You require pinup player for it; it won't run without it, and uh, it looks and plays fantastic. And of course, uh, you got Trojan Shell's uh, Star, Star Trek uh, Puff Pack for visual pinball. Uh, you know, just like his other ones, uses uh, original music as an option. You know, great Puff Pack. 
And of course, you got Kai's uh, Super Mario Brothers Pup Pack. It actually looks really nice. Uh, you know, it's a good example of how to use uh, just still images and simple animations that makes it look really colorful, but really, really nice. Like, you know, it looks uh, really professional. And and uh, this is Nail Busters Pup Pack uh, for Terminator 2. Uh, Nail Busters, the guy who made Pinup Player. So uh, this is the one he threw together. And uh, this is uh, the Walking Dead uh, Treasure Shell's uh, other pup pack. Uh, again, you know, using mul uh, overlays, multiple layers, and of course, uh, uh, original soundtrack options from uh, the TV show. So those are just uh, some examples of the pup packs for Visual Pinball. There's lots of them out there. Uh, and anybody can make you can make your own. Anybody can make them. You know, it's not like we're not super professionals here, guys. We're just doing this as a hobby and for fun. Uh, so now I'll uh, show some examples for a future pinball. And of course, now here is my newest pup pack. This is my Jaws Ultimate Pro pup pack for uh, the, the new future pinball Jaws Ultimate Pro table. I love that table. It's one of my favorite tables. It has so much more content than any other version of Jaws. Uh, way more modes, uh, way more like uh possibilities for uh you know like video clips on the pop pack uh audio drops just all sorts of things and uh the nice thing with pinup player is it allows for you to have with future pinball and pinball fx3 surround sound feedback and uh if you don't know what that is that's basically a way of having uh positional audio feedback in a cabinet so that you can hear the sounds under the the play field where they would come from in the, the normal game in a real cabinet. Now you can use this on a desktop as well. Uh, if you have a like a five one or a seven one uh, surround sound setup with your uh, PC, uh, you can use surround sound feedback on that as well if you want. It's an option. But yep, uh, and I love this pop back by far. You know one of my favorites. And of course, it's kind. Of, this is kind of like going back to the beginning. I originally added in the, the Masters of the Universe table uh, videos in the table itself, because Future Pinball can do that. And uh, then eventually I used those same uh, video sources to make the pup pack for Visual Pinball later on. And then now I've got that same pup pack working with the first uh, Future Pinball table. And again, this is just uh, my uh, original Dofflinks modded table. Uh, I, I just added the pup pack uh, commands really quick just to see if it works, and sure enough, it does work. And of course, my, my first pup pack uh, for Future Pinball, which also has uh, surround sound feedback, Tron Legacy. And there you go. Those are some Future Pinball examples. And now with Pinball FX3, you've got some options there as well. Now, uh, before I, I jump in, uh, you're gonna notice that uh, you can also do pup packs that were made for Visual Pinball with Pinball FX3, for example, on Bally Williams table. So this example is uh, the Mars Attacks uh, pup pack. It can be made to work uh, with Pinball FX3. Uh, you got you got to do a couple things, and uh, it will work mostly good. Uh, some things won't trigger because that. The, that capability is not there in Pinball FX3. E even with uh, Dofflinks, there are certain things it can't trigger, but it does work. It absolutely does work. Now, of course, you have my Aliens FX3 Pup Pack, the first Pup Pack ever made for uh, uh, Pinball FX3. And you can see it's working great. Uh, the, the back glass on the top right, the topper videos in the DMD uh, on the top left. That DMD is... Uh, using pup dmd control from pinup popper but you can use dmd x as well and as other options as well you've also got surround sound feedback pup packs for every single uh pinball fx3 table uh that's something i made so doff links is able to trigger the surround sound feedbacks uh sounds while you play the table and pinup player will play those sounds so those are all options for pinball fx3 so now let's go and actually do some uh, do a few examples of each. All right. So to explain what what this video is about, why it's a big deal, is normally if you were to run a pup pack with a, a table in full screen, the pup pack would get hidden behind uh, the the in this case the visual pinball window, or parts of it would get hidden, and it would not work. It would not be in focus, and it would be a pain in the butt. So, uh, and my next set of videos, I'm going to show you exactly how we get this all working correctly. 
So what happened was the table loaded up, and then when the pup pack starts up, the pinup player has a feature where it will look for a specific bat file in the pup pack folder. If it sees that bat file, it's called pup init.bat. It will run whatever commands are in that batch file as soon as the pup pack starts. So what I'm doing in this case with uh, this pup pack and this table is I'm running commands that will automatically get the pup pack in focus and, or uh, the pup pack layers on top and will get uh, the visual pinball window in focus and it does that timed nicely and makes it all work. So that's what's going on here. So as you can see, pup pack's working. Everything's in focus automatically. And she's working beautiful. And there we go. All right. And you can also hear the original soundtrack music being played uh, as well. It's working beautiful, looking beautiful, playing great. And I'm just gonna kind of cheat here. <laughs> and the remains of the dead aliens disposed of. I'm just gonna do Megatron multi ball real quick. The Laurentian Abyss is seven miles above sea level, deepest place on our planet. The massive depth and pressure there. Here we go. Freezing temperatures would crush and entomb it. There you go. Working great, looking great. And then when you're done playing, you can just go right back to pin up popper. So that's that's a, a a great example of a complex pup pack that can work perfect. And uh, most visual pinball pup packs will work just like what you see. Uh, so that's one example. Uh, let's try. Uh, sure, we'll do Tron real quick. This is going to be quite the ride. Now, Tron's a simpler pup pack. Uh, it, it uses two back glass layers and two topper layers on the left. And uh, part of the problem is when these pup packs are run, some layers are set to be pushed back behind the top layers. So what will happen is you may see the top layers running just fine, but then the, the, the lower layers will get hidden behind uh, the, the game window. So... Again, th this is all part of how it gets managed and working correctly, and that, that's part of what I, you know, what uh, what I'll be uh, showing you guys how to do in uh, the next videos. What do you say? And here you go; it's running great. You have the, the original soundtrack going. Videos are uh, triggering. Now, if for whatever reason uh, you see stutters in the videos, uh, that's not an issue uh, on my end. Uh, it's because when you have recording so the, the recording software going in the background, sometimes it interferes and causes things to stutter in the recording or, you know, and things just don't look as good. And so there you go. Pop packs working, running beautiful. All right. So now let's go to uh, the Wizard of Oz. Please wait. And I again, in all these examples I've run so far, fun. as soon as the pop pack is run, it looks for that batch file, it runs the batch file, and then carries out the commands that will manage everything. And you can adjust the batch file to your own liking, so that way it can do specific uh, programs or windows. Uh, it can do setting it to top or bottom, uh, or not top or not bottom. Uh, it can uh, activate the window, uh, and it can have delay timers built into each command, or you can run anything you want in the batch file. Like, you can use it for what you guys want. It doesn't have to be just for what I'm doing here. You know, now here you can see Waz, the table lit up, and there you go. So now you can see the, the direct B2S back glass, the pinup player uh, overlay frame, and uh, Ultra DMD, all of it's running, and the table is automatically in focus. <laughs> and there we go. She's running just perfect. 
T table's running fine. Now I'm just going to cheat again here real quick. And there you go. You can see the pinup player videos are running fine. There you go. So as I mentioned before, if you see any video hiccups or anything like that uh, in the pup packs or the table or anything else, again, that's not the issue uh, with how things normally run. Uh, when you got recording software going, sometimes it just interferes and there's nothing I can do to, to over it. This is not my uh, fast PC by any means. This is actually my older PC. So uh, it, it can struggle at times to try to keep everything silky smooth while I'm recording. And then exit out back to popper and then everything closes down and you're ready to go again. So here I'm gonna try Stranger Things. Now, something's gonna be wait. different on this one. This table does again. not use what's Pop called a, a pup pack. A pup pack is a, a folder with uh, videos uh, for a pinup player and configuration files. This one does not use that. It uses a folder with videos and audio, but the commands for pinup player are all done directly from the table script. Uh, it's not using a DMD image to trigger videos or anything else. So. As a result, I can't, the way this is running right now, get this table to automatically come into focus. It, it, it won't do that because it's not a pup pack. It's not set up to run with a pup pack currently. Uh, now, that can be changed, and I'll, I'll go through that in another video. So right now, if I hit start, the, the, the game won't work. It, it won't start up. It, it's not. It's because uh, Visual Pinball is not in focus. So Pinup Popper has an extra feature, a fantastic feature, that is called in-game uh, in script button. So what that means is you can set it up so that if you push a specific button uh, for this particular emulator, it will run a set of uh, script commands and a batch file in the background. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna push a button and it's gonna act like the same thing as uh, the batch files that are used in a pup pack. And that, that's gonna get everything in focus and it's gonna make it all work automatically. And you can do that anytime you want while playing. Even if you, you've already, uh, and you can do it with pup packs or anything else that you want for that matter. And so I just hit it. Now you can see it cycled. And then now everything came back into focus. And then now if I hit start, the game's going to run. And just give it a moment. And there we go. And you can see tables running, looking beautiful. Videos are going to run. Scores are displaying. Ultra DMDs running perfect. And there you go. And I'm just gonna let it go through here. There we go. All right, and then I, I'm just cheating here. So there we go. You can see that's running and looking perfect. Great. If you like, if you like the show, great, great, great table. So uh, let's see. So yeah, those are some good examples, I'd say. Uh, let's, uh, we'll do a Spider-Man real quick. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that with visual pinball tables, on the top left, uh, you, you can have the DMD, X DMD display, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, if for whatever reason you don't like using it, uh, you'd be a fool to not use it. Uh, but uh, you can use the uh, old pin name DMD and have pinup player activated with DMD, DMDX running in the background, but just not displaying. I don't recommend doing that. I highly recommend using a DMDX uh, to display your DMDs. Uh, you'll get colorization options and it looks so much better. So there you go. You can see the pup pack popped right up. And uh, this one has uh, overlays I can switch out. And you can hear the original soundtrack music going. There you go. There you go. Writing and looking great. Yeah, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> the Sandman going here. There you go. And Sandman mode is starting. All right. Check all the security cameras. He won't get far. And there you go. So those are some uh, great examples for visual pinball. And as you can see, they work perfect. 
Now, again, they won't necessarily just automatically work. Again, there are going to be some simple, very simple steps you'll take to get them to work. Uh, and I'll be showing that in the other uh, videos. All right, so let's run some uh, future pinball tables. And uh, here we're going to do uh, my Jaws Ultimate Pro uh, Puff Pack here. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Now, part of what is needed for all of these to run, whether it's Visual Pinball, FX3, or Future Pinball, the emulators have to be run in borderless full screen, or bo sorry, borderless windowed, sometimes also called borderless full screen. What that means is the game cannot run in exclusive full screen. If you run in exclusive full screen, then what will happen is it will blot out the, the windows for pinup player and you can't see it. Future Pinball uh, doesn't support borderless windowed, but there's a way to make it work as I just did right now. And, uh, it will work fine with pup packs. And as you can see, the pup pack just got started. The batch file that I included is running. And what it did is it cycled to get future pinball back into focus. But then the pup pack, because it's set up correctly, will force its way back up. And then now you can still run future pinball because it's in focus and the game is ready to go. There we go. I love this. I love, I love this table, man. Ah, and I, I just sucked already. <laughs> But yeah, and there you go. You see the pup packs running really nice. Videos are triggering. Everything's working really good. Running nice and smooth. Now again, I don't know. So, uh, so, sometimes uh, these the videos don't turn out nice and smooth compared to what I'm seeing after the fact. There you go. And you can see all the layers are working nice. Copper layers. Now, I'm not going to go super heavy duty into this table because there's just so much to show off. But you can see that the lighting on this table looks so nice in Future Pinball now. All, all tables today can look so gorgeous in Future Pinball with a real hardware per pixel lighting with the flashers and the, the global lighting and shadow maps and so many other things. It just looks so nice and it plays so much better now. The, you know, Future Pinball ain't what it used to be. You know, you can get games to look and play great. I love it. Uh, I love it. It's awesome. And there we go. And I, I'll just let that pan out. So, yeah. I, I mean, it, it's a great, great, great table, man. I love this table. All right. Let's see if I can get her up. All right, well, maybe, maybe we'll see if we can get Orca Molten Ball. Oh, we got Big Wave, too. Oh, uh, crap. Okay, let's see if I can get it in there. Look at that. Who's, who says you can't do shots with Future Pinball? And then you can see the copper videos on the left side changing up for the mode. Jackpot videos coming up. Beautiful table. Awesome pup pack, if I say so myself. And I'll point out, all the mechanical sounds that you're hearing, like the flippers, slings, and all that, none of that's coming from Future Pinball. Uh, that's all actually coming from uh, Pinup Player, and it's all in surround sound feedback right now. So everything, everything, except for the ballroom, uh, everything you hear uh, mechanically is all is all from Pinup Player. And it's running beautiful. Now, I'll wait a moment. Oh, I love, God, I love the drops. I love the sound drops in this table. And of course we're going to do Killer Chart. Shall we play a game? We shall. And that's that the old reference to war games. To any, oh, okay, we got the extra mode here. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, I missed it. Three, you got it. Well done. Yay! Game over. Yeah, that was, that was an old reference to war games, if any you guys caught that. The shall we play a game? And this table has so many modes. I, I, I'll have to show that in a, when I do a very a, a full gameplay of uh, this uh, table and pup pack. I'm going to do a, a video just for that, but yeah, love this table. And then you exit out. And then in the background, you can't see it, but uh, Golf Links is running the whole time. And then when the table closes out, 
which is what the front end does. Uh, it closes out the table in the in the future pinball completely. When future pinball is completely closed out, Doff links will then sever the connection, and uh, then the pup pack is closed out. So yeah, there you go. So let's uh let's do the Masters Universe real quick. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Now I'm gonna point out uh, that uh, this table is not an updated table. It, it doesn't have the newer fixes from uh, Gimli or George H on the Go Pinball forums, and it uh, you know doesn't have newer physics added uh, or anything else whatsoever. In fact, I think this is going to be running with the wrong physics for the table, so it's it's not going to play very well. I'm just telling you that right now. I just quickly added the pinup play the pinup player commands needed for the pup pack to this table because it was already ready to go from my doff links support it, it only took like maybe 20 minutes or so for me to add all the pinup player commands and now my pup pack will now completely work with uh, the future pinball table and then you wait a moment and then the pup pack should start up and, the and there she goes and in this case it didn't even have to cycle through now i'm going to point out I actually updated the back glass really quick too in Future Pinball to use the same videos, uh, the same overlay frame. The videos are actually the same. The only difference is the overlay frame with the Castle Grayskull uh, and the title and all that. But the videos have not changed in Future Pinball at all whatsoever. It's just uh, the background and the castle are different. Uh, so, now I do normally have the intro running, but uh, that won't happen until you go into a track mode a second time. It's just a matter of the timing of uh, when the pup pack starts up versus uh, the intro starts. So, there you go. You can see she's working good. And if you watch, you'll see both the back glass and the pup pack in the upper right are actually running the same videos. So if you're wondering, well, why, why use the pup pack at all if you can use it for pinballs? Well, the pup pack has much nicer uh, uh, videos. Uh, has uh, the under underlay videos. And uh, you can see uh, every time I hit the flippers, uh, there's lightning that strikes on the underlay portion, and well, maybe I'll maybe I'll let's see. Uh, I'll see if I can get a, a multi ball going here. There we go. Okay, so as an example, you can see Ripper multi ball running uh, on the background, but it's not going to have the jackpot videos or the extra videos that the pump pack has. It doesn't have the overlay layers. Or sorry, the underlay layers. Uh, so th there's a lot more to the pup pack uh, than there is on the uh, Pupa Pinball videos. So, so I, as you can see, there, there is differences. But all, a lot of the main stuff is there, you know. But there are differences between the two. So I, I just wanted to uh, show that. So, so, just so you guys can see. There you go. So it does work, but but one day I am going to have to completely update that table because now with the newer BAM features, that table can play amazing and look so much better today that, uh, than uh, you know it does right now. Trust me, uh, if you do it like like uh, Jaws, the same treatment Jaws has had, that table would look stunning with BAM's new lighting and uh, features. So there you go. Okay, so those are some future so those are some future pinball examples. Now we'll go to uh, Pinball FX3. All right, so uh, I'll run the aliens one. So you're going to see. It's going to be a stand up fight, sir, or another bug hunt. So FX3 will launch directly into the table from a front end. You can do it without a front end on FX3. It's a, it's a lot more clunky, though. Uh, it's not as nice as doing it from a front end, but you can still do it and still have the, the pup pack run. So you saw the, the pup pack just initiated. Just tell me one so thing. now the bat file ran and uh, it, it cycled uh, the window layers uh, for the pup pack and for FX3. FX3 is what is by far the pickiest of all systems to get things running. It is very, very picky. So what you have to do is you have to sit here and you have to wait patiently uh, for the pup pack to pop up. It could take maybe, I don't know, maybe, oh, there you go. It depends on how long uh, the looping videos for the topper uh, take. If it's 30 seconds, it may take up to 30 seconds. Uh, I'll get more into how that works in the other videos, uh, but I just want to do a demonstration. So you can see the pup pack is running. And the, the top left, that is not Zen, uh, Zen's DMD being displayed. 
Uh, their DMD is actually displayed off screen. And then I'm using Pop DMD control from Pinup Popper to monitor Zen's, uh, uh, Zen's DMD images. And then that gets put, passed through to Pinup Player to trigger all the videos. Doff Links does not trigger the videos. Doff Links can start the Pup Pack or uh, the Pup DMD control or DMD X, Freezy's DMD X, can uh, start the Pup Pack, but only the DMD software which is Pop DMD Control or uh, DMD X can trigger videos. Doff Links triggers surround sound feedback on the table if you opt to use that. So I just wanted to point out that difference. And also uh, the music is also controlled by a pinup player uh, b based on the DMD images as well if you use the original soundtrack music option, which is what you're hearing right now. Oh. What is going on here? Oh, I think we had a screw up there. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I was too quick. Okay. That's why. Okay. No, it's, it's working fine. I was just a little quick. Uh, I, I needed to wait a moment there. So, yeah. As you can see, the pup pack's running fine. Videos are being triggered. Sounds are being uh, changed for the music. It's all working just fine. Now, again, I'm not going to go very long into this because to demonstrate... This uh, pup pack at length uh, with all the very cool moments would take a while, and that, that's not what this video is about. So, yeah. And there you go, you can see. All right. And there you go. And then you exit out. And you win moment, and then eventually the table closes out, DMD window closes out, and then the pup pack all closes out. And it works perfect from a front end all in a single screen desktop setup. Now, I could try running uh, this one here. It's probably gonna, gonna, gonna wait, run correct. I think this one's okay. All right, so there you go. All right, sorry for that hiccup there, guys. Uh, stupid uh, G-Force experience uh, did a pop-up. All right, so you can see uh, the pop pack is running. Now, this pop pack, uh, came with uh, certain files meant specifically for uh, for uh, the Visual Pinball uh, Pup Pack. So uh, I'll show that in another video, uh, what you'll need to uh, do to get this working. But you can see, like, uh, certain videos are being triggered. Yeah, see, Stroke Lux working. So it is working, but for some reason, some of the uh, so this Martian Attack video keeps popping up over and over again. But uh, yeah, you, you guys can see, it is working. Now, if you're wondering why, the music's turned off. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, that was for the Aliens Pup Pack. You have to turn down the music if you want to use the original soundtrack music option with Aliens FX3 Pup Pack. And unfortunately, that affects all tables in Pinball FX3. Really lame that they don't let you do it on a per table basis. So there you go. Uh, despite that one little hiccup there, uh, I think we're all good to go for uh, the quick demonstrations there. So now I'm gonna just going to close down Pinup Popper. And I'm just going to show you real quick an example of each running. And you can understand uh, the differences here. So uh, let's try... I'll do Transformers again. That's pretty quick. So this is just Visual Pinball running on its own. No front end, nothing else special running at all. Just all uh, pinup player and all the software it needs is already installed. So when the tables run, then it calls upon pinup player. Now that bat file ran, and you, you notice what happened? It pushed the pinup player window back behind everything. Now that works perfect from a front end, uh, but as you notice, the the editor window was uh, put was uh, left in front, right? So. Now, when I click back into the window, you see the pup pack layers are uh, hidden again. So I would normally use a different batch file if I was running this uh, without a front end. And I'll show that again in uh, the, the Visual Pinball specific videos. And what you're going to see is when this uh, copper screen on the top left here uh, starts over, with, there you go, the pup pack layers all come back in. So it all works fine. It's just uh, some, but there's different batch files that work better for a front end. And there you go. All right. And there you go. 
And then we exit the table, exit visual pinball, and there you go. So that, that's okay. So now let's uh, just try running a, a future pinball table just from the, the desktop with no front end and the, uh, just a normal editor. So, first, you would normally have DOF links installed, set up, and running in the background. It's required for pinup player pup packs. So, this is DOF links. Now, this is the debug window. Uh, you don't normally have that popping up or visible. I'm only doing that for the purposes of the video, but you can have it show up to help you get things up and running. So I'm just uh, going to have this uh, pop up for a moment here. And I'm going to run uh, Future Pinball, obviously using BAM. You know, BAM is now required. And there you go. So now it detected Future Pinball is running. And now it's starting a scan to see if uh, there's a table running with DOFLINKS code. So that's what DOFLINKS does. And then when I run a table, then DOFLINKS will negotiate and see and then if there's Dofflinks code on it, then Dofflinks will create a link with the table. And then the table will now have a uh, running communication path uh, the whole time. And then uh, the table script can trigger commands for feedback or lighting in a cabinet. Or in this case, we're using it for surround sound feedback and videos on a pin up player pup on a, on a pup pack. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to minimize this now. And I'm just going to run uh, the table like normal. So I loaded up JAWS just now, and then now I'm just going to run it. There you go. And she'll load up. So now uh, my recommendation is don't click on things when you're loading tables and all that. Let them do their normal process because you're having multiple programs run at the same time. And the whole point of what I'm trying to get working for you guys is so that the pup pack and the tables all will appear and be in focus correctly and everything will run smoothly without you having to do a bunch of finagling. So I, I just move the mouse out of the way because sometimes it does pop up in the middle. And if you wait, DOF links will uh, communicate with the table. And then when it does, there you go. The pup pack gets started. Now, the batch file was just ran. So what the bat file did is it brought Future Pinball back into focus, but then it told Future Pinball, you're going to be the bottom layer, the bottom most window. And then you wait so many seconds, and then the pup pack will uh, loop uh, the topper video, this, this one up here. And then that helps force the pup pack to reappear again, and then all the layers will appear. And then you can also now run the Future Pinball table like normal. And there you go. Everything's running perfect. And of course I suck there. <laughs> you know, my table's running nice. Videos are all triggering. Everything's in sync. And I'm just sucking butt here. <laughs> yeah, I'll just let it go quick here. I'll let her drain. And there you go. You can see the videos on the right side. All, all one, two, three, four, four layers. And then the, the topper video on the left side there. Ah, I missed her. Yeah, not, not doing very good here. But there you go. All right. And there you go. And that's it. All right. So, and then you just, just if you want to exit the game, you hit escape, and then you're going to notice that uh, the pup pack is still running. That's because the link for DOF links is still active. So, you just need to uh, close the table. Sorry, close future pinball completely, not just the table. And then now the pup pack goes away because DOF links has now detected future pinball is no longer running. It severs the connection and it also closes out the, the pup pack. And that's basically it for uh, for Future Pinball. It's that simple. You just run the editor, run the table right away because DOF Links is going to start scanning. And if you don't, it will time out. So you need to run the table right away. Then the table and pop pack will start up. You play. When you're done playing, exit Future Pinball completely. And then everything closes out. And if you don't want to you know, uh, run... Uh, anything more with pup packs or anything else, you can close out DOF links, you, you know, but you have to have it running first before you run Future Pinball or Pinball FX3. That's very important. So that's it for Future Pinball. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to run uh, Pinball FX3 in the Aliens pup pack, but I'm going to do it uh, a couple of times uh, to illustrate a difference. So uh, again, 
uh, you, you'll need DOF links for that to work. Uh, well, you'll need DOF links for the surround sound feedback to work. Uh, and I'll explain uh, why uh, it doesn't work with the videos after. But you'll have DOF links running for, at the very least, the surround sound feedback if you want to use that. Because DOF links can start a pup pack. However, DOF links cannot, well, DOF links does not trigger the videos in a pup pack. While it can do that, uh, the triggers it has are very limited. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to run the, the aliens table. Fight, sir, or another bug now, if you wait a moment, it actually, DOF links, well, see, DOF links automatically detected the table. Aliens is about to be loaded, and the pup pack just got started, as you can see. So I'm just going to load the table now. Start a game. Tell me one thing, Burke. So the pup pack actually is already running. Uh, you just can't see it because it's hidden behind the FX3 window. The bat file was automatically ran. Uh, that's in the pup pack that I added. So the bat file basically told uh, FX3, okay, you're going to be the bottom layer, and there you go. Now the pup pack uh, appears, and now you can run the table. But you'll notice you're not going to see any videos trigger. Right? Because you don't have either DMD X or uh, Pup DMD Control running, and those are what triggers the videos for uh, FX3. All right? So those two, it's one of those two have, have to be done, and they have to be running first before FX3 and, uh, and the table are running. So, so you can see the Pup Pack is running. So you can hear the surround sound feedback sounds are all going. Is there a problem? But that's being triggered from DOF links, and DOF links started the, the pup pack, and that is triggering the surround sound feedback. So now what you want to do is you can exit out the table completely. Uh, well, here, let me, let me uh, make a point here. If you go back to a single player like this right now, uh, it may or may not close out the pup pack, depending. If you go to another table, Okay, it does. All right, so it does close it out. Uh, what happens is uh, DOF links will change to a different uh, pup pack in the case of the surround sound feedback if you have that installed. If you don't have the, that installed, then it won't close out uh, the aliens pup pack like I'm showing you right now. So if I ran any of these other tables right now, for example, uh, then uh, it would still have uh, the surround sound feedback for those as well. So as you can see, all right. So what you can also do is you can also just exit completely, which is what I recommend doing. Uh, if you're running a, a video pup pack, I recommend completely exiting out of FX3. So that that shows that pup pack will get up and running, but only the surround sound feedback triggers will be working. So if you want to have the videos working without using a front end to make it all convenient, you can do a, a couple of things. Uh, you can either run your DMD X or pup DMD control from a batch file. Uh, or you can ha and, and then run FX3 after the fact, or you can have a batch file that does it all in one shot, just like a normal uh, front end. So as an example here, here's a pup DMD control. All it's going to do is it's going to change to where I have DMD X installed, and that's this guy right here. And then it's going to start pup DMD control, and I have pinup popper installed, so that's why I have pup DMD control uh, available to use. And then it's going to say use pinball FX3. And then it's just going to, and I had to add this in to let it know that we're going to be using the Aliens Pup Pack. That's what that's about, okay? Normally, this looks different uh, from your front end. Uh, it has a, a little bit of a different entry here, depending on what front end you use. So I'm just going to run this first. Now, Pup DMD Control is actually running. And what it does is it'll wait 30 seconds. I think it's 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute. And then after that time, if it doesn't detect that Pinball FX3 has been run, then it will time out and close itself. And there you go. Now you can see it just popped up in the top left corner because uh, it detected that FX3 was running. So now what's going to happen is uh, when we run the aliens table this time. It's just going to be a stand up fight, sir, or another bug hunt. And just going to wait a moment. So there you go. Now the pup pack got started, the bat file was run. And there you go. Now, you can't see it yet, but the, the videos are being triggered and the full pup pack is actually running.
and you can see the nicer DMD is being displayed on the top left. So that program, that PUP DMD control or DMD X, is monitoring Pinball FX3's uh, cabinet settings DMD window, which I have positioned off screen. You can't actually see it. And I'll explain more of this when I go into the FX3 video. Uh, but and then uh, as a result, it monitors uh, the, the images off that DMD, which then triggers the videos uh, for the pup pack. And there you go. She's working just perfect. And everything's working great. And if you exit out the single player, go back to the main menu. Now you'll notice that it closed up the pup pack. That's only because I, I have another table highlighted and uh, it launched another uh, surround sound feedback pup pack. But we're not, you don't want that because you can see the pup DMD window is still active, right? Uh, so now with that being said, if, if you want, you can load another table. And the surround sound feedback and everything should still work. And yep. It, and you can hear it. Everything's working just fine. And that's it. And if you exit out completely, then uh, all the pup packs get closed out because Dolph Links detects that and uh, it does that for you. Or you could do like I did here. You could create a, a bat file that does everything automatically. It will start pup DMD control automatically with the pinup aliens added for this specific pup pack. And uh, then you can run uh, Steam and start it up automatically, specifically for this one table. All right. And what it's going to do is it's going to go directly into Steam or directly into FX3 and load that table directly, just like you would with a front end. And then everything's starting up. Just tell me one and there you go. You can hear the pup packs running and DMD's launched. Uh, surround sound feedback triggers are going to work. Everything's going to be happy. You just wait a moment and you'll see it all pops up. Let's give her a moment here. And there you go. All working great. And that's it, guys. And then you exit out and it all closes. So I know that... I kind of meant for most of that to be on the FX3 video, but you know, I figured since you guys are watching this now, it's a good demonstration to show that you guys can get it to work just from desktop. Uh, there is further setup involved, uh, but that will be covered in the other video. So I just wanted to show that it actually can work without a front end perfectly. Uh, you just have to have the right batch files and uh, you can, those are two examples or uh, DMDX. Uh, I'll show you another example for that. Uh, this is what I use for DMDX. So it's going to use this command line. Uh, and then now your, your settings are going to be different depending on where you want the DMD to go, but you can use all this. And then, uh, uh, then you could run Steam with this setting for uh, the actual table. Now that's an example where you have your files installed may vary a little bit, but what I do is I have the shortcut in the same folder as DMDX and I run it from there and then it, and, or uh, then it runs fine. I mean, the batch file is in here. Uh, and then you could run a shortcut somewhere else to have it lead back to here if you want. Uh, so yeah, those, those are simple options and they, they work fine. So yeah, that, that's it for uh, that's it for FX3. FX3 uh, is not horrible. Uh, the problem is if uh, it gets updated to a newer update, then unfortunately, DOF links won't work with it, and DOF links needs to get updated every time FX3 gets updated. So it's important you guys understand that. Uh, it's a pain in the butt, especially for poor DDH69 who created DOF links, but you know, it, it's, it's the way it is for FX3. There's no way to get around it. Uh, so every time you see uh, new tables coming out for FX3, expect DOF links to soon not work when those tables come out, and then an, You'll have to wait uh, a day or two or a week or however long it takes for poor DDH uh, to get that all updated and working again. So uh, that's it for FX3. So I think that's basically it, guys. Uh, you know, there's not really much else uh, to say. Uh, 
So if you guys are interested in wanting to get all this to work, well, obviously you need to have all, all the prerequisite software installed. Now you would go to this uh, link here on vpinball, and I'll have it in the video description. Uh, for pup packs on top, everything you, know, you need to know is on here. The files you need to know to get are on here. Uh, all the information is on the, the, the first post for the support topic. So you'll need to go on there. Don't just download it and be like, hey, it don't work. You have to go to the support tab here. And then it's all listed in that first uh, uh, post there. And uh, so if you're going to decide to do all this, obviously you need to have all the essential software installed for a bit, uh, virtual pinball. So you should have read, watched this video as a beginner. And then you would watch this video, which will take you to this website. And it will tell you to install everything on here in order. And you must do it all in order, even if you're only using FX3. Just do it. You'll save yourself so many headaches in the long run. And then that way you'll be covered for other emulators as well. And then, of course, if you need to do uh, FX, uh, sorry, you know, anything additional like a Visual Pinball or Future Pinball, uh, you can do those here with my other Essentials videos. And, of course, uh, then after all that, you can then do the DOF links video, which is needed for Future Pinball and FX3 for Pup Packs. So, uh I got you covered for everything for what you're going to need for running all these on a desktop. Uh, so now you'll just have to watch the the eventually my setup video, which is going to come next for a pinup player and for desktop use. And then I'll have uh, specific videos for uh, dealing with visual pinball, future pinball and FX three uh, in their own separate video. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know this is a bit of a long running video, but you know, I mean, Hey, you know, it's better to show you guys all the different instances and then you can see for yourself. I don't just say this stuff works. It actually does. Uh, I, I did it right in front of you on my own desktop. Uh, this is my normal TV that I'm using this on my PC and my TV. Nothing special, no cabinet, nothing else. Uh, you know, no, no, fan, no fancy hardware. It, it all just runs simply through software. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you watch all the videos uh, for setting up this software correctly and in order and don't skip a step and then you'll have no problems. Uh, if, you, if you skip steps, it won't work. But if you follow my uh, tutorial videos, you'll get it working right the first time. Thanks for watching. Bye.